Sharks. Probably no predator on Earth attracts more public attention. Nevertheless, scientists still know relatively little about them. So, a nonprofit organization called OSEARCH has made it its mission to learn more, to preserve these animals of the ocean. This past weekend, the well known group that sails around the world wrapped up a three week expedition from here in Jacksonville, studying sharks right off our coast. Channel 4's Vic Michelucci was invited aboard to get an up close view of a surprising find in our local waters. Oh, he's on it. Brett, 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 he's on it, he's on it. He just ate it. Okay. Yeah. Going under the boat. It looks straight from the movies. A group of fishermen face to face with the ocean's greatest predator. But this is real life. Oh, oh, come on up, come on up. And believe it or not, it's right off the coast of Jacksonville. Total length. You're good. 14 feet total. 14 foot female yeah, shark. That's Got Lydia, one. a great white that's about 2,000 pounds. Spot tag, accelerometer next. Researchers from OSEARCH caught her close to the Mayport jetties three years ago, just off the beach. Beautiful, beautiful. I mean, she looks, she looks very placid. She looks great. Her color's great. Water flows good. They tested her and sent her swimming, but with a GPS beacon on her fin so they can track and study her for years to come. Yeah, Lydia! Do your thing, big girl! Jacksonville's waters have been in the spotlight since 2012 when the group tracked a 16 foot, 3,600 pound great white named Mary Lee. She went right under the Jack's Beach Pier. Coming under to you, Jody. Coming right at you, Jody. That's why the OSEARCH vessel and crew of more than 20 scientists and fishermen are back in local waters this year, launching Expedition Jacks three weeks ago. They took us along for two days. The researchers started this expedition just off Fernandina Beach, but after several days, they did not find any great white. So now they have moved a little further south. Right now, we're just off the coast of Duval County. Those are the Mayport jetties. That's Naval Station Mayport, and we can see Atlantic Beach, Neptune Beach, and Jack's Beach from here. Coming up on it now. And sure enough, they found the fish. All right, we'll get a buoy on it, and then we'll come in. While they started looking for great whites, the crew has been catching tiger sharks this time around, an equally impressive species that scientists know little about. They're kind of the balance keepers of the warmer tropical waters. And, uh, you know, normally I would have thought we'd have been seeing them in warmer water. It's about 69 now, but clearly they're here. OSEARCH founder Chris Fisher let us watch as he and his team wrangled the sharks in. Oh, no, 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 no. There you go. Guiding them onto a lift. Get up. Get up. For about 10 minutes, the biologists study the fish, pumping water through their gills to keep them healthy while drawing blood and measuring them. This one's about 11 feet long. The next day, they tagged a hardy eight-footer. So it was exciting. We just tagged and released uh, another tiger shark here right in front of the Maypore poles, and we were really thrilled to be able to name it Duval for all the people here in Duval County to follow. After they let the sharks go, scientists get to work testing the samples on board the ship. There are many biological as well as ecological questions that we can answer from blood samples from these sharks. And this is Dr. Heather Marshall's seventh expedition with OSEARCH. Then it'll just help to uh, better conserve the species as well as uh, better inform um, public safety. It's Clark Morgan's first trip. I have learned a lot. It's awesome, to, you know, these everyone on this boat is a legend from the crew of the OSEARCH to the, the other members of the science team. He's part of a group from the University of North Florida studying the mating habits of our area's sharks. Understanding the reproductive biology is important to understanding the ecology of these water systems. So many people are scared of sharks this close to home, but the researchers say don't be. Some people are worried about it. You know, 400 people died last year from defective toasters. Ate by sharks. So if some people have some concerns about sharks, they should be absolutely terrified to make toast. They're actually one of the most important parts of the marine ecosystem. So the fact that OSEARCH is finding more and more near the shore is a very good thing. It's a great sign. That means your ocean here is moving toward abundance. You know, a healthy ocean is full of sharks. We should all be afraid of, a, of an ocean with no sharks in it. That means there'll be no fish for our kids to eat. How about that? While OSEARCH didn't tag any great whites off Jacksonville this year, the researchers say they aren't worried. The species is very elusive and smart, making them difficult to catch. The OSEARCH plane spotted several from the air, and a fisherman reported seeing a 16-footer just last week. 
Yeah, plus, <laughs> they're able to learn a lot from the three male tiger sharks that they're now tracking. If you want to track the sharks in real time or learn about more about the expeditions, go to news4jacks.com. Inside the story on the homepage, we've posted all the information you need to know and how you can download their app.